Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an Amazon S3 bucket and configure it for static website hosting. After configuring the bucket, it becomes accessible on the internet via a URL. And if you have static web pages in the bucket, those web pages become visible like regular web pages. I logged in in Amazon AWS. In the search bar, I will type in S3 and then select S3. Then I will select create bucket. I will give a name to this bucket. Bucket names are globally unique. I can use my bucket and then some number. If your bucket name shows an error saying that it's not unique, then you can simply change some of the characters in your name. Then from the object ownership, I will select ACL enabled and for the block public access settings for this bucket I will uncheck block all public access that means I am allowing public access if you want to block public access individually all these four items then you can select the respective items since public access has been allowed there is a warning message and I need to acknowledge that the current setting might result in the bucket and the objects within the bucket become public. So I click on the checkbox I acknowledge. Scroll down and then I will leave the versioning disabled. I will not add any tag and I will not add any encryption. Now I will click on create bucket. The bucket name already exists, so I have to give a different name. Let's say I want to add some other character at the end. And then try again. The bucket name has been accepted and the bucket has been created. Now I will select the bucket. And there are several tabs available for this bucket. I will go to the properties tab and then I will scroll down. At the bottom of the page, there is an option which says static website hosting. I will click on edit on that item. And then click on enable. Now I need to type in the default page name, which is usually index.html. So I will type in index.html and for error, I will type in error.html. Then I scroll down and then click on save changes. Now this bucket is ready to host static web pages. If I scroll down once again, then I will see a bucket website endpoint under static website hosting. I will copy this bucket website endpoint and this endpoint will be the URL for the website. So I copy. Next, I'm going to upload static website related files to the bucket. So I go to the object tab. And then here I will upload all the related files for the website. So I click on upload. I can drag and drop. Or I can go to add files. I have a couple of files that make a static website. You need at least index.html file. So I will upload these files. 
I'll simply drag and drop. Then I need to give permission to these files. So I will select all files and then go to permissions. And then click on grant public read access. Also, I need to acknowledge the risk for granting public access. So I check on I understand and then upload. If you missed giving the permission on any of those files, you can go to that file again and grant the public access permission. So I close this window. Again, if you want to change permission of any of these files, then you can click on the file and then go to the permissions and edit permission. You need to give read access to be able to access from the internet. Since I gave the permission, I don't need to give it again. So I go back and go back to my bucket and then from the properties tab I can copy the endpoint once again. Static website hosting and then bucket website endpoint I copy. Now I will go to a browser tab and then paste that endpoint. Now this is the website that I have uploaded. You can make simple HTML page with any HTML editor. This website has the first page is a little bit decoration. There are two other pages under the menu about page uh, not much content and then another contact page sample information In an s3 bucket you can host a static website you cannot host a dynamic website in s3 bucket dynamic websites need not only HTML CSS and JavaScript but PHP database web server and so on. In another video, I have shown how to create a dynamic website by using EC2 instances. As this is a test environment, I'm going to remove this website and also the bucket. So I go to the bucket and then select my bucket. I will click on delete button. As you can see, there is an error message which is saying the bucket is not empty. So before deleting a bucket, I need to explicitly empty the bucket. So I go back to the bucket list, select the bucket and click on empty. Then I need to type in permanently delete. and then click on empty. The message at the top says successfully emptied the bucket. You close this message. Now go back to the bucket list, select my bucket and then delete. This time the bucket will be deleted. I need to type in the bucket name and then click on delete bucket. Now if I try to access the website, since the content is not available anymore, as soon as I refresh the page, it will show not available. As you can see, 404 not found means not available. Okay. So I have created a bucket, gave public access to that bucket. 
uploaded some static website contents, gave read access to the website content files, and then I used the endpoint to access the static website. If you're using a free tier account, don't forget to remove all the resources after you're done with your experiment. And that is the end of this video. I hope you found this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.